are big developments tonight in the Catholic Church sex abuse scandal. Pope Francis is now facing calls to resign after an archbishop has accused him of ignoring sexual misconduct allegations against former D.C. Cardinal McCarrick. This is a big deal. He is not alone. Anger with the church is growing. Over the weekend, the pontiff was met with protests in Ireland as a surprisingly small number of supporters turned out for the memorial mass. You can see them there. I mean, it looks like a pretty good crowd, but there was a lot of green space, which is not apparently what they saw the last time uh, they did this event. So despite questions, the pope would not directly address the accusations. Watch this. I read it, and I will say sincerely that I must say this to you and all of you who are interested. Read the document carefully and judge it for yourselves. I will not say one word on this. I think the statement speaks for itself. All right, we're going to explain all this to you. Mark Thiessen, an American Enterprise Institute scholar and a Fox News contributor who is demanding that the Pope respond and give answers to this. So, Mark, take sure. us back to in this story. This is Archbishop Vigano, yeah. who was the U.S. ambassador the, for the Vatican. Um, sure. And he is the one who is basically saying that the Pope knew about McCarrick. He knew about the thick dossier of allegations against mm -hmm. him, and he looked the other way. Yes, yeah, so this is the former papal nuncio to Washington, so the ambassador to Washington, a very high-ranking archbishop in the Catholic Church, and he says that twice in the, he twice in 2006 and 2008 he wrote letters back to his superiors in Rome telling them about Cardinal McCarrick uh, that Pope Benedict actually quietly, without publicly announcing it, suspended his priestly faculties and told him that he could not celebrate mass or, or speak publicly at all. Uh, that Bishop Cardinal Worrell knew about this because he discussed it with him, and then when Pope Benedict resigned uh, and Pope Francis took over, he had a private audience with him in June of 2013 in which the Pope asked him about McCarrick and he said, Holy Father, uh, just ask the bishop's, uh, the bishop's office, they will show you there is a dossier this thick on this man that he has corrupted a generation of priests and seminarians and he's had his faculties suspended. And what did Francis do? Nothing. Not quite, quite the opposite. He lifted the sanctions on McCarrick and made him a trusted advisor, sent him on missions to China and gave him back his faculty to, to speak in public. So he not only ignored the evidence, he elevated Cardinal McCarrick. Uh, I mean, I mean, this is this is shocking information. If what if what uh, Viaggi say, here says, Vigano here says is true, excuse me, Vigano, uh, then it, what it means is that the corruption in the Catholic Church has reached beyond the American bishops, beyond the Roman Curia, straight to the papacy. All right, uh, this there, is huge. Two, two, it is huge, and there's, there are two big things that I want to ask you here. Uh, sure. the, the first one is that there is backlash. There's a big, for those who don't know, there's a big debate going on within the in Catholic Church about, you know, many people think that, that Pope Francis is too liberal in his interpretation. It's very similar to you know, how people behave with the Constitution and how they look at, you know, doctrine within the church. So yeah. there's a debate going on between the liberals and the conservatives in the church. And, and Vigano is, has been very outspoken against Pope Francis. So is he, does he have an ax to grind? Is that what's happening? Is that what is happening here? Well, he's, he's uh, not been that outspoken in the sense that he's just saying this now. I mean, he had this conversation with, with Pope Francis in 2013, and it's now 2018. So he has not uh, come out and said this until today. Uh, so this, this is a—he's he, gotten to the point where this has come out, this information has come out, that you have Bishop Worrell, Cardinal Worrell, going around denying that he knew when Bishop uh, Vigano spoke to him and discussed mm -hmm. it with him, and he knows that Cardinal Worrell knew. Uh, so, you know, these are—and second of all, he's provided not just uh, his own— own a sworn testimony, which he says, uh, before God is my witness, meaning if I'm lying, send me to hell, mm -hmm. uh, he swears that this is true. Mm -hmm. He names specific documents that are in the Vatican archives, that are in the, in the nunciature, yeah. that can be released. Let the, let the Vatican release these documents that he's named, and if he's lying, then prove it. All right. I mean, well, we're going to bring you back because obviously sure. um, the, the big question is, you know, how would this ever, you know, what happens now? What's the procedure yeah. among the cardinals? Because, the, you know, they're the people yeah. who run everything. So uh, a lot, the, a lot of questions. And the other thing that's important is in that quote, the pope didn't deny it on the plane. If it wasn't true, he would have said this is not true. He didn't deny it. He said, I will not comment will not on say this. A single that's word, very, very telling. All right, Mark, more to come on this. Thank Thanks. you very much. Good to see you tonight. Thanks, Martha.